back to another episode of Que Pasa. I'm joined here by Lauren Falco with Destination El Paso, as always. And we've made a little trip down to Socorro. We are at the Dusty Tap. We've been saying, Lauren, the patio incredible is incredible tell Beautiful. us tell us about this place yeah so the the dusty tap is a really cool spot um it's owned by people who wanted to make socorro an, a better place which i very much love um the patio itself is huge it's like this is just a part of it there's a whole other section that we're not even seeing with the stage they have gorgeous. games everywhere there's some uh some uh, pong water pong if you water will. pong yeah <laughs> And uh, as well as some like uh, cornhole, cornhole, yes. Cornhole. Um, but it's just a fun place to like hang out. It's very relaxed, which I like. And we're coming up on Cinco de Mayo, so this is going to be like the perfect spot for a Cinco de Mayo celebration. All right, Lauren, let's get straight to it. Lots of musical events um, so in the borderland this weekend. Yes. We are very excited. Uh, Lords of Acid, which is a Belgian American electronic uh, group uh, band. It, it's it's just fun music. It's like fun, dancing music. And they're going to be at Lil Rock Palace on May 1st. So go get tickets, lilrockpalace.com. Then at Don Haskins, mm -hmm. we have Luis Miguel as well. Classic. He's a classic singer-songwriter. I think a lot of people just, it's kind of like in that Juan Gabriel, like just powerful ballads. Um, and Luis Miguel is just so popular. He's actually doing two performances oh, at the Don Haskins, May 1st and 2nd. Uh, Ticketmaster.com for tickets. It is that time of patios, cold beverages, and wine festivals, and we have another one coming up. Yes, uh, so this is kind of peak wine festival season. We just talked about Lavinia Wine Festival, which was last weekend, and uh, we're really excited to check out just some incredible food and wine scene in Juarez. They have a huge festival, um, and it's at the Solar de la Paloma on May 4th. You can get tickets on their, their Instagram, their website, um, but the Juarez Food and Wine Festival is huge, and they've they've really made it like this big food and wine fest that people go to from all over the region. We're actually going to be doing a giveaway of tickets oh, on cool. Visit El Paso's Instagram page, so go check them out this week. Um, and we're really excited. It'll be fun. Something really special is coming to town to Plaza Theater. Mm -hmm. Celtic woman performance. Oh, what is that? So it's it's a four female, four-person woman ensemble um, that is all about Irish ballads and kind of like the home country sounds. Um, it's really cool. It's uh, It's been around for a really long time. It actually was originally established in Dublin, obviously, but that's happening May 4th at the Plaza Theater. You can still get tickets at alpasolive.com. The highlight of this week, mm -hmm. what we've all been waiting for, Cinco de Mayo celebration. So exciting. And what a better way to celebrate than at the pool. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's and This is not only just for us, it's for families, which is awesome. Um, the El Paso water parks are going into their summer season, and they're going to be opening up the parks one week at a time throughout May. So it's starting May 4th and 5th at the Chapateo water park, which if you've never been, it's incredible. It's like all Dia de los Muertos themed. It's I really it. cool. Um, I, that's honestly my favorite mm -hmm. park out of the four. Come out and enjoy the, the park. Enjoy the, the water, the sunshine, the hopefully beautiful day. So um, tickets at epwaterparks.com. Perfect. All right, Lauren, thank you so much once again for joining us. Again, if you need any information on the dates, tickets, times, whatever else, go to visitelpaso.com. And don't forget to join us again next week.